hounds trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold, marrying cousins or not marrying. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they really better be so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. Involved with those two families? Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right. You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. Keep telling myself I'll strike the rich one of these days, but that day show dragging is here. Believe you me. Can't tell you how much time I wasted chasing treasure. It's been a few weeks down around the town of Rose recently. Don't know if you ever passed through it though. Fella told me about these two old plantation families there, how, how they had the seeds falling out. How one of them had hidden a big old pile of gold somewhere. Mm-hmm. I had a feeling this interest you. I mean, I thought what better way than to find my fortune than on the slave was filthy dollar. You understand? Not that I expect you to understand that. <laughs> thought I was on to something too. One of their maids had showed me this old carving that said, where the death at a spits.
they made and showed me this whole call, and that's it. Where the death adder spits. And then I spot this place called Copperhead Landing on my map and put two and two together. Yeah, I really thought I was on to it. I spent days around there digging up ground from dawn till dusk, but found nothing but an old pair of boots I'm wearing right now. But maybe that's all the riches a man like me need. Yeah, the land gives all we need and more. The rest of it, well, uh, I'm starting to realize perhaps there's such a thing as easy money for fellas like you and me. Though I can't stop thinking I must have missed something. Thank you.